when you look at how much resistance there will be in the House of Lords of this bill, do you think it will pass? I would be amazed if it passed. The, you know, the mathematics is always difficult for the Conservative uh, Party in the House of Lords anyhow, just because of the numbers on the Labour and Lib Dem benches, never mind when the uh, cross benches, of which I am one of, um, go that way. But uh, I think on this particular occasion, uh, as we've seen with some prominent Conservative peers, it's going to be very difficult for this bill to clear the Lords. OK, I mean, what is the wider impact of the government trying to break international law? <laughs> um, <clears throat> it kind of states for itself in your question. Um, you know, Britain, um, you know, many, many years predating Brexit, going back arguably for much of my and your professional lifetime as been trying to identify things it can positively contribute to the to the world, uh, and standing for the accepted rules of international behaviour, uh, particularly things agreed by uh, independent legal uh, settings, is one of the things the UK uh, has generally proudly done so well in a in an increasingly complex world. Uh, and so if the UK is now going to portray itself as a country that's prepared to challenge uh, international rules that it's played an active role in creating, uh, that's going to uh, change some perceptions of the UK, uh, along with um, more persistent problems that relate to our generally weak economic performance and our low productivity rate and so on. But does it, you know, lose a bit of status, or do you think the UK could actually lose business because of it? Um, listen, at the end of the day, as we see with uh, the mean world of business, business is business, and uh, you know, business people, whatever they say, uh, can't resist the 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 the, the attraction of uh, return, and always weigh it off versus the risk, but. Uh, Certainly, all else being equal, unless the opportunities created are even bigger, it, I would imagine it would definitely uh, negatively impact the way people would think about doing business, because countries wouldn't know, uh, with the confidence they had before, uh, that the rules sitting behind how they were conducting their relationship with the UK were going to be persistently the same. I mean, it's kind of basic stuff. If you look at Many credible indices, such as those of the UN or the World Bank or ones I was involved in in creating at Goldman Sachs, many of them often use uh, governance indicators. Uh, and, and the UK often scores middling in many others. But on things like that, it's historically done pretty well. And if this is going to set a, a perception that the UK is going to now behave differently, I think it's a, a very much a turn for the worse. Uh, is this how difficult a moment is this for you know first of all the you know the, the devolved um, the devolution but also just for the conservative party does this have you know the makings of the thing that will rip the conservative party apart uh, I mean I think I think you've seen in the in in the lead up to last night's debate and votes uh, and with the apparent abstentions, a pretty clear sign to uh, the Prime Minister that, that some important Conservative uh, MPs aren't prepared to just seemingly do as the whole of his cabinet does and just go along with whatever is presented. Um, against that, I rather strongly suspect that this is part of the same reoccurring playback we get with Boris Johnson and his uh, apparent uh, crucial adviser, Dominic Cummins, that they, they like to uh, challenge the established status quo, particularly when they think it plays well with the voting public. And as you can see in the British newspapers, by and large this morning, this is being presented as, as taking on a belligerent Brussels. So I think they think they can get away with it in terms of forcing Brussels to be kinder uh, in negotiations. And and maybe that will win, and this will all turn out to be a bit of a storm in the teacup. But uh, if this indeed goes ahead as, a, as an, a bill that succeeds, 
Uh, I think it would create lasting ramifications for quite a lot of issues to do with the UK, including aspects of how the Conservative Party functions, I would guess. And I, I quickly add, what do I know about the ins and outs of the Conservative Party or, for that matter, anything else?